Welcome back, students. This is Lesson 27, Session 3. We are comparing decimals in tenths and hundredths. So this is going to be a little bit different than what we've seen before because we've just been comparing tenths to tenths or hundredths to hundredths. Okay, so um, go ahead and open to page 567. You will want to get your dry erase um, sheet here that has your models on it to be able to use as we're going through these. Matt measures two insects. The bumblebee is 75 hundredths of an inch long. The hornet is 8 tenths of an inch long. Which insect is longer? Okay, so this one's a little bit different. First, we're going to start with our bumblebee. And our bumblebee is... 75 hundredths. So I'm going to fill in 75 hundredths. One, two, three, 40, 50, 60, 70, one, two, three, four, five. So 75 hundredths. And then our hornet. Our hornet is eight tenths. So this is a hundreds and this is a tenth. So now I'm going to fill in eight tenths. Thirty, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. How many of you think that the bumblebee is bigger because it's in hundreds and the hornet is smaller because it's in tenths? Well, I'm going to show you something here. These are the same size. So if I put them on top of each other, you can see here, actually I probably should do it this way, that the bumblebee has seven full rows, so does the hornet, but look, the hornet has an eighth row full, but the bumblebee is only halfway through the eighth row. So that means the hornet is actually bigger than the bumblebee because the hornet, even though it's 8 tenths and the bumblebee is 75 one hundredths, if you were to compare these, you would get to an 8 before you would get to a 7. So let's look at these that they were in a fraction form. 8 tenths to 75 one hundredths. Well, I can't compare these like this because this is a 10 and this is a hundredths. So I have to make an equivalent fraction. So to make an equivalent fraction, I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom times 10, which would make 80 one hundredths. Then once I have that 80 one hundredths, I can easily see that 80 is bigger than 75. Or if you use a place value chart, you can put each of these numbers on the place value chart. 8 tenths, 75 hundredths. When we compare decimals, we start over here and we go that way. We cannot compare using the ones place. Then we get here to the tenths and we see that 8 is bigger. So the hornet is bigger than the bumblebee. So I just showed you three different ways, again, to compare tenths and hundredths. The thing to remember, if it's too hard for you to compare them like this, always put them on your place value chart and start from left to right and see which one is bigger. Or my second recommendation would be to put them into a fraction. Um, because anytime you have a tenth, if you add a zero onto the back of both of those, you're going to actually get a good comparison to be able to compare to 100. So let's keep going and go to page 568. You can see here on 568 exactly what we drew. And you can see how there's eight full rows, but there's only seven and a half rows here. And then down here you can see where they're compared in the chart. Eight is bigger than seven. 
So that's why 8 tenths is bigger than 75 hundredths. And look, they even put a zero here because you can add zeros behind the tenths if there's not another number there. We're going to skip page uh, 569. We don't need that one. It's just going over what we've already went over. So we're going to move on to page 570. We're on number 7 here. Okay, which is greater, 9 tenths or 92 hundredths? Show how you can use fractions to solve the problem. So 9 tenths is the same as 9 tenths. 92 hundredths is the same as 92 hundredths. I cannot compare fractions to hundredths. So I'm going to multiply both of these times 10 and get 90 one hundredths. Then I can see here that 92 one hundredths is bigger than 90 one hundredths. Because 2 is bigger, 92 is bigger than 90. Next, the location of points B and C on the number line represent decimal numbers. Explain why the value of point C is greater than the value of point B. Okay, well, if I added a zero behind this, it would be 70. So, um, on a number line, the values are greater as you move to the right. So C is greater than B. Right, number nine. Compare 37 hundredths and 4 tenths using greater than, less than, or equal to. Okay, so I'm going to just put these on top of each other without using a chart. I start on this side and go that way. I can't compare here, but right here I can see that 4 is bigger. So we would say that 37 hundredths is smaller than 4 tenths because you always eat the bigger number. All right, let's move on to page 571 and 572. This is the part where uh, if you feel like you're getting this and you think you could do it on your own, go ahead and complete these next two pages and then come back and watch the rest of this video to check your answers. If you think that you're still struggling a little bit, you can go ahead and do this with me as I go along. But this is the last video, um, so you will need to do the last few pages and then check your answers on your own after we do this one together. Okay. So... Lucas buys six-tenths of a pound of fish and 85 hundredths of a pound of shrimp to make a stew. Shade the models below to compare six-tenths and 85 hundredths. So we're going to shade six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And 85 hundredths here. One, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just by glancing at these, we can see that 85 has way more shaded than 6 tenths does. So, 85 hundredths is greater than 6 tenths. Does Lucas buy more fish or more shrimp? Lucas buys more shrimp. And then it says... Use equivalent fractions to explain your answer. So, zero, 6 tenths is the same as 6 tenths, which if we multiply the top and the bottom by 10, we know is 60 one hundredths. And 85 hundredths is the same thing as 85 one hundredths. And we know that 85 is bigger than 60. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at... Page 572. 
All right, on 572 it says, compare two tenths and 25 hundredths using greater than, less than, or equal to. Use equivalent fractions to explain your answers. So two tenths is the same thing as two tenths. 25 hundredths is the same thing as 25 hundredths. But we know that we need to make this into hundredths. So we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by 10 to make 21 hundredths. Then we can easily compare 21 hundredths to 25 hundredths, and we can see that 25 one hundredths is bigger than 21 hundredths. Right, number five. Compare 9 hundredths and 1 tenth using greater than, less than, or equal to. Use the Blaise Bally chart to explain your answer. Okay, so as we're looking here, the ones are in the same place, but then as we get to the tens, one is bigger. So to explain my answer, one tenth is greater than zero tenths. So one tenth is greater than nine hundredths. All right, last one for today. Write these numbers in the place value chart below. Which number is the greatest? We got one whole, two tenths or twenty hundredths, and three hundredths. Well, again, whenever you're comparing numbers using, um, you've got to start here and go that way. So if we look at the ones place, we've got one whole right here. So, one is the greatest, and then if we keep going, we see that this one's next, and this one is last. That is it for this one. I will see you back for our next lesson. I would advise that you go ahead and complete pages 573 through 576, and I'll put the answer key on Google Classroom for you to check your answers.